And then there's three trucks in the back. That'll be four or five moving left to right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna aim at that first truck, okay? There you go. All right, it's a little longer on the burst. Right. Hold on a little bit. There you go, there perfect. Go. perfect. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's good.
more? Bumping it until it goes all the way back. There you go. When you're uh, picking up the new barrels, just always check and look. The wind starts to affect it a little bit more. So again, up where that's going to be flying, it'll, it'll carry it pretty easy. Okay. Still feels pretty low. Yep. So we'll see where you hit with that angle. We got that last screw. Yeah. Too far. A little bit. That's more comfortable. So the M203 is the grenade launcher that the, uh, the Air Force and the, the military itself um, employs. So it shoots a uh, 40 millimeter uh, grenade round. Um, in this case, we're just training, so we just we call it a Cheeto bomb. It actually has just some orange powder in it. It shows you actually where you're impacting. And of course, if you had a, an actual grenade round, um, it would be exploding with a, you know, a big fireball as opposed to just a bunch of orange powder. Um, but that is a fun weapon to shoot. Um, kind of like shooting a shotgun, it, it kicks a little bit, but at the same time, you don't have to be overly accurate with it because again, it is a grenade launcher. But it is a fun weapon to shoot. Um, the Air Force and DOD as a whole is actually transitioning to the M320. So, Still the same thing, same caliber, that 40 uh, millimeter grenade, but it's just a little bit different setup, but it's kind of the, the new and improved model, if you will. So we're shooting two other weapons at the uh, MPMG range today. We're actually shooting the M240 Bravo, which that shoots a 7.62 caliber uh, or 308 caliber round. So big, heavy machine gun. It actually takes about two people to employ that properly. That can go on top of a, a vehicle if you're doing convoys, or it can actually go in an overwatch position. Um, it's just a, it's a big deterrent because when you start hearing that machine gun going, you're going to get your head down. So it's our big Bertha that we like to employ. And then we also have our, our M249, which that is a light machine gun as well. It shoots a 5.56 round. So same thing as an M4 rifle. It just shoots on a belt. And so it's a fully automatic machine gun. Um, that only takes one person to operate. And that uh, that's, again, fun to shoot. And you usually get your head down when you start hearing those rounds. Coming out here, um, getting out of, the, out of the office and out behind your uh, computer is nice because and you get a shooting machine gun, how many other people get to do that on a Friday? Um, and the biggest thing is you know, we get to spend time with each other. So a lot of us have been in the unit for a while together and we do form that brother and sisterhood. So it's fun um, to get out, hang out with each other. We are doing a little bit of like a, a little barbecue today, so that's fun too. Um, but again, overall, it's just it's always a fun experience coming out here, shooting some uh, machine guns and, and just having a, a good time all day. So we are out here uh, 5th of August, so nice and warm in you know, the Arizona heat. It's just it's unforgiving, and so being out here, I have about seven clouds in the sky right now. So I mean, it's it's unforgiving, but again, it, it's fun. We come prepared. We've been doing this long enough. Where you know we have plenty of water, plenty of Gatorade, um, bring some pop ups, kind of make it make it bearable. Um, but at the same time, you know, when uh, we come out here in January, December time frame, I've been out here when it's raining sideways and it just rains all day, and we're still out here training. Um, cold and freezing wet. It's, you know, just kind of questioning our our motives for being out here. But at the end of the day. Um, again, it's always just a fun experience in my air shoot. So I am S Sergeant Jeffrey Seastrand. I'm with the 944th Security Forces Squadron here at Luke Air Force Base. And I am the Combat Arms NCOIC. And I've actually been with the 944th for about going on nine years now. So I've been here for a little 
little bit. I took over at Common Arms NCYC uh, about a year ago. Um, so I've been learning that side of security forces um, since then. The 944 Security Forces Squadron, we do differ a little bit from a regular um, active duty security forces unit in that we strictly train and deploy. Um, so every four years, we're usually heading out the door somewhere. Uh, those other three years, we're training and you're doing stuff like this, getting ready to go. Um, but yes, that is our main uh, mission at the 944th, whereas in active duty security forces units, they're defending the, the gate, the, um, you know, the base itself, the flight line doing uh, patrol and whatnot. So again, we do differ a little bit in, uh, in that sense. The biggest thing for not only myself, but anyone that is out here um, shooting is just making sure that everyone's safe. Um, we obviously don't want any accidents, we don't want anybody getting hurt. Um, we have a saying we like to leave the range with the same blood and rank that we came in with. Um, again, we don't want anybody hurt. So that's the biggest thing. But then also, um, as a combat armor instructor, I also am making sure that the weapons being empl employed properly um, and effectively, that students are getting the right fundamentals down that we're teaching in the classroom, as opposed to just coming out here and kind of you know, doing their own thing. Because of course, there is a, a right and wrong way to, to shoot these weapons. So that's the biggest thing. Um, and then also, just like to uh, make sure my instructors are, are still conveying the, the message and, and teaching properly. The, the standard setup that we have for the 249, or excuse me, the 240 uh, firing pit, so we'll have obviously one combat arm instructor, and then we'll have the shooter, and then what we call the uh, assistant gunner. And so the shooter obviously is in charge of um, employing that weapon, pulling the trigger and getting the rounds down range, and then our assistant gunner um, is um, in charge of make, making sure the weapon gets reloaded, um, doing barrel changes, because again, like you said, that weapon gets very hot, so we have to change the barrel out um, pretty often. And then they're also giving uh, corrections, because in real life, you know, there, if members are actually using this weapon, um, say in a deployed environment, then come in arms, we're not going to be there. And so the assistant gunner has to learn to make corrections, um, you know, tell their shooter to come up or down, left or right, um, to actually hit that target. And so that's essentially what we're doing here. Um, come in arms, we're sitting next to them coaching. We're just making sure that, again, we're being safe um, and that if there is a major malfunction or something with the weapon, that come in arms, uh, my instructor is there to uh, help out and handle that. Um, so actually, everyone here is a TR. We only have a handful of AGRs in the uh, Street Force unit, but yes sir, so most of everybody here is a uh, actual TR today. So they're here, um, we're actually here during our AT, um, so we're knocking out a lot of this training, but yep, they're just, they're getting their annual calls, um, ready to just part of it.